Now let's go ahead and we'll create a CMOS NOR gate. So first thing we'll do is we'll just change the name of this library. Rather than call it, calling it Inverter Tutorial, we'll just rename it and we'll just call it Tutorial because we're going to have things other than inverters in here. So we can OK this. That's us got our tutorial. And we've got our inverter and we've got our sim for the inverter. And we want to do the same for the NOR gate. So we're going to go and create a cell for the NOR gate. So we'll go cell, new cell, and it's a schematic, and we'll call it NOR. So that's us got our NOR schematic. So we're now in the process we can go and build up the NOR function. So you should know what a NOR function looks like. We've covered it in a previous video. So let's go ahead and we'll quickly build this up. Now the thing to note is that what we'll do is we'll just start using these three terminal devices. Now we know that they're actually going to be a fourth, te fourth terminal on these. And the fourth terminal is going to be the well. And the, uh, this, the NMOS device is going to have a, a, a P well which is going to be connected to ground and the PMOS device is going to have an N well that's going to be connected to VDD. But we'll build those into the simulate into the layout because we know they're going to be there. But for the moment for these designs, we can just simply use the three terminals here. So we can build up the NOR function. So again, let's remind ourselves of the, the, the NOR function is going to be, we're going to have this device here, which is going to be our NMOS. And we're going to have a PMOS device here as well. Now, before we do anything, we'll just go in and we'll attach the technology files to these and fix them up the way we want them. So what we could do is we click on this device here and we can get into the tools and simulation spio space. And we can say set space model. And we know that this thing, space model for this, is going to be, once you've clicked on it, you can say Control i well, In fact, we even know, don't even need to do that. We can simply move it out of the way. Well, we'll change it here, actually. We'll just call it, this is going to be our PMOS device. So it's going to be CMOS P. And we can do the same for this one. We can click on this one here. We'll get into Tools the simulate space, the set space model, and this instance here, this one, control I is going to be the CMOS N. We can OK that. So that's us got the models that we're going to be using for them and we can get in, we can change the sizes. So what we'll do is we'll make the width for them 10 for the moment. We don't need to bother too much for the moment about our device sizing. We can go onto that and talk to it in a different uh, video. So we'll stick to it for the moment and just have them 10 by twos. And again, we don't have the issue. So with the device sizing that we in CMOS that we did have in NMOS because we've seen that NMOS technology was a what does a potential divider and we had to size the NMOS in enhancement device and the, the sorry NMOS depletion device and the other NMOS device in order for it to work properly but in this case here we're using CMOS and we don't have those issues of sizing so let's just move this over to here. So we've got our basic devices. So let's just build up our circuit. We're going to have two of these. Again, control C and then you can click out and go control V. So we're going to have two of these and we're going to have two of these. Again, we go control C, click out and control V. Right, and this one here is going to have to be turned round. So we can do the control J which will turn it around in this direction here. So we're going to have two of these in parallel and the two NMOSes in series. And we can connect these up. So left click, right click, left click, right click. So 
So you can go ahead and get this built up. And if you feel confident, you can do it the same for the NAND gate, but we will do a video on the NAND gate anyway. So this is the basic structure. What we'll do is we'll put our ground in. And we'll put our VDD. And finally we're going to have our inputs. And our inputs are going to be connected. These, this one, to this one. So we'll, pull, we'll put left click right click and we'll put our input pin and there's an input pin for this one and this input here is going to go to this one here so left and right and this one here is going to go up to this one here. So, so the final connection is going to be from this point here. And that serves built up her NMOS NOR gate. So let's give our pins their names and we'll export them as well. So there's a pin here. We'll call this, uh, we'll go view, so export, create export, and we'll call that pin simply A. And this one here will go export, and we'll call that B. So that's us built up our circuit. Let's go ahead and we'll test it and see whether it's actually the netlist is correct and it's set up okay. So uh, if you go into Tools, DRC, Check Hierarchy, and you can see here I've got two errors, so I'll OK in this and I'll just check and see what the errors are. Errors, schematic errors, nor, and, and against unnecessary pins. So I can just go in and delete that pin. So Control, let's just delete. And this one here, delete. Tools, DRC, check hierarchy. So you can see here at the bottom of my screen, no errors found. So this is the circuit now built up the way we want it. We want to go ahead and we can test it on this level. So let's go ahead and we'll do that now. Now we're going to test out the transient simulation just on this schematic diagram here. So first of all, you're going to have to have a file here in order to test it. Now, in the resources section of this video, you'll have the file here called NOR. So if you double click it and have a little look, it's just the two inputs. We're going to have an A input and a B input, and we're doing the transient analysis, and everything else is exactly the same. Again, you'll need to make sure that you've got the include file pointing to the right directory. Okay, so you replace this with your particular directory. And all we've got is two pulses, but they've been separated slightly. So this one's running uh, from 10 to 20 nanoseconds. This will be 20 to 40 nanoseconds. So you'll see why that is in a minute whenever we go and look at the results. So what you want to do is you can copy all this, Control C, and then whenever you go in here, you're wanting to create an actual model. So if you get into components, you go to miscellaneous, and you can say spice code. So that's spice code at the bottom, just, just there. Okay, in fact, I'll get rid of my image here just for a second so that you make sure you can see it. Okay, so miscellaneous, come down here and you see it says spice code. So click on that there and we've got the text for it here. And we can go control I and make sure you've got the multi-line ticked and we can go control V. So this is the code we want to use to run the simulation. So we'll apply that. In fact, we'll make the size of it maybe a bit bigger as well to uh, apply. Okay, so now we can see it. Okay, so that's us all ready to go. So let's go ahead and we'll go through our 
simulation. So we can go to tools and we can go to spice, right spice deck. And that's how it ran through the simulation here. So what we can do is we can open up the window and we can go for our inputs. We're going to have VA and VB. And we're also going to have to have our output. But you'll notice here that I don't have an output because I forgot to create the value for the output here. So I never exported the output. So there's no output pin here. So let's just fix that now. So the output is going to come from this point here. So left click, right click, and we'll add the pin in. So pin here. And we'll left click, right click, and to DRC. Of course, I keep doing this, adding that extra pin in. So schematic, look at the error. Just grab the pin, just delete that. Now we're going to export that, so we export, create export, we'll call that out. Okay, and we can then go ahead now and we'll save it, tools, and we'll run the spice deck, so right spice deck, and that's it, done it again. So running this, and now we've got the VA, we've got the VB, and we've got our V out, so we can OK in that. And we can see that we've got the respective inputs, output, and the input and output. But we want to be able to actually see this. So we can right click and you can see add plot plane. And again, right click and add plot plane. And we can grab the input. So here's the VA. So you just click on it, drag it up. There's a VB. Click on it, drag it up. And there's the output. So if we were to check this one here and see the NOR function. You can see here that NOR function is going to give us a, a high output whenever both inputs are low. So if we look along here we can see that this is input is low here and the input is low here and we get a high output. But otherwise every other possibility we get a low output. So when we get a 1 and a 1 we get a 0. And when we get a, a, a 1 and a 0, we get a 0. Or when we get a 1 and a 0 here, we get a 0. So we only get a high output whenever the inputs are both low. So this is a, the NOR function, and that's us built up, and we can see that it actually works. So let's go ahead and we'll actually create the schematic for this here. So we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll create the actual uh, inverter symbol so that nor symbol and we'll create the layout just as we've done for the inverter so we'll get rid of this first because we don't want to run that from here we'll get rid of that and we'll go to the view make icon view and that's the icon view there and it doesn't look like a nor gate so let's go in and we'll actually change it so it looks like a nor gate and you can see that in here so that's the icon view here and we want to change this and so it looks actually like a NOR gate. So let's go ahead and we'll do that now. We're going to have the A and the B input and the output is going to be over here. So grab this one here and we'll pop it over there. And we want to change this round about so that will actually go to the pin will go to that side here. And we want to create the actual symbol for it and look at make it look a bit kind of neat and tidy. So we'll start off by grabbing this here. You can drag that down. Now it's a little bit of trial and error here. So you can press the Y and you can see we've now got a little pencil thing here. So we want to generate the front of this function, this the NOR function. So let's just move it round about until we can get something that looks kind of what we're looking for. Okay, if we pop this over the back here, you can see it's starting to take the kind of shape that we, we would like. Okay, so that looks kind of like what we would expect for the front of a, a NOR function. So we can leave that as it is at the moment here, and we can again press the Y key, and that's the front of our 
nor gate. We can click on one of these again. Again, we can put it down and we can press the Y key again. And we'll put this to this end here and we'll drag these into the other side. Again, with a little bit of time, you can build up a function that looks similar to a NOR function. So that's kind of like the NOR function we're looking for. So we'll again press the Y key and we'll go at the front of it here. Now we want to grab the circle, pop the circle down and we can make the circle a value of say one by one. Apply. Okay. And this is us the start of our, our NOR function. So I'll go and I'll, I'll beautify that a little bit and we'll make it look a bit nicer and I'll get you just in a second. So here's my final NOR function. Of course, you can take your time and mess about with that and get it just perfect the way you would like it. Now, if I head into the schematic, you can see now we've got the NOR function here in the schematic level. So let's go ahead and we'll create the simulation window and we'll work it through the same as we did with the inverter. So we'll go to the cell, new cell, and make sure it's schematic and we'll call this nor underscore sim. Okay that and we can grab the nor block, stick it in here, we can go left click, right click, left click, right click, left click, right click. And we can click on this one, we can go export, export cell, call this A, click on this export, create export, and we'll call this one B, click on this one, we can go export, create export, and we'll call this out. Now we're going to have to go and we'll grab our spice code, so we go right click and we can get into spice code. Stick that there, and we can go Control I, and make sure you've got the multi line ticked, and go fish out the text file with the spice code in it again. Control C, and we can go Control V, and we can apply that. We can OK. So we're now in a position to run the spice deck. So come into Simulation Spice, write spice deck. And that's us ran through the simulation again. You can grab the two inputs and the output. We can right click, add plot plane, right click, add plot pane. And we can grab the input A, output B, and we've got our final output here. So that's us run through that simulation. So that's us finish the schematic section for the NOR gate. We'll finish up in this video and we'll move on in the next video and we'll do the layout. So thank you for listening. I'll get you in the next video. Goodbye.